How's everybody today? Good. I think our players are working very hard to prepare for a, a, a very good team. Um, I think when you play a good team that's very balanced and does a great job of executing, you've got to match that with your ability to execute and everybody do their job. And that really starts with you know, how you prepare for the game in terms of every day in practice. Every day in practice, we got something different that we want to you know, try to accomplish. So um, we need to channel our focus and our energy into good execution. Uh, and I think you know, that's how you make the team better. That's how you play better. That gives us the best opportunity to play best on Saturday. Uh, it's always a challenge playing on the road in the SEC. And I think it's always a test of your competitive character to be able to stay focused and you know, do the things that you need to do to execute and do your job in, under difficult circumstances. You know, that's, that's what makes a great competitor. You know, and we've had some teams around here that have done that very well. Uh, and you know, this is certainly going to be a, a challenge and a test for our team. Uh, but I believe in our team, I believe in our players, and I believe in the way they've worked to try to get ready for this game this week. Um, you know, it's kind of time to start thinking about, you know, really what you want, what you want to accomplish, what you want to do, how you want to play, um, and get zeroed in on, um, you know, psychologically on what we, what we, what we got to do. Because I think you got to have the right mindset when you play on the road um, because difficult circumstances. Uh, we don't really have any personal injuries or updates to report, um, but it's going to be very important for us to continue uh, having a kind of a competitive spirit that uh, has been re reflected in you know some of our other teams, and uh, it's a challenge for this team to create that identity for themselves. I know you've always taught it, but this this team, this defensive line, seems especially adept at, at batting balls down at the line. Have you seen anything different that you guys are doing this year? What do you think has led to that? No, I just think it's the kind of players that we have. You know, they got good awareness, good timing of the quarterback. Um, you know, we really emphasize attacking the quarterback's hand, you know, this year probably more than we ever have in the past. But, you know, we got some guys that played basketball and are pretty good athletes, and um, they, they, they kind of do a really good job of that. And I think the kind of passes a lot of teams throw now, though, you know, you really have to short, quick passes. You know, a lot of them, you know, run pass options. Uh, so, you know, a lot of bars, balls aren't throwing, but five yards down the field. So you really have an opportunity to do that a lot more than you used to. Used to. And I think our does, guys have done a good job of it. Nick, you know, we've talked a lot about, I guess, you know, the running big game that Georgia has, Nick Chubb, Sonny Michael. What have you kind of seen from the receivers and their tight ends? I know you recruited Jeb, but just kind of what kind of matchup problems do they, you know, possess in this game? Right, Malcolm Mitchell is a really, really good player. Um, Sonny Michelle is a really good back, but he's also a really good receiver who they've used out the backfield. Um, they've got a couple young players that are really, really fast, quick guys um, that they've used effectively in these first few games. So, you know, I have a lot of respect for their receivers. I certainly have a lot of respect for their quarterback and the way he's been able to execute. Um, and, you know, we're, we're going to have to do a great job of covering and very disciplined and, you know, um, doing the things that we're supposed to do because, you know, they're, they're create stacks and bunches and lots of different things that pro type coaches, you know, do. So, you know, our, our guys are going to have to do a good job of um, focusing on what the coverage is, what's my job, what's my key, what's my responsibility, what do I need to do on this play. Georgia secondary forces a lot of interceptions. It seems like they're very aggressive. What do you see from, from that back end of their game? Well, they got a very aggressive team. Uh, they do a great job. They got a good pass rush. They got two guys that are really good pass rushers on the edge. And uh, they really push the pocket. Uh, they do a good job of disguising in the secondary. They play multiple coverages um, that I think the quarterback's got to be able to identify. Uh, so he's throwing the ball the right place at the right time. And you got to play fast against them. Receivers got to play fast. And we got to be precise in you know, what we're doing. And the quarterback's got to make good decisions about where he goes with the ball. But uh, they, they have been a very aggressive secondary. Nick, two questions. First of all, with Bo Scarborough, I'm sure early on you guys will ease him back into having any sort of workload. But could you see him contributing it more than just running back? Could you see him being like a multidimensional, versatile type of guy? Well, I, I think you know the difficulty is is you know once you get in the season, 
you know, we can't invest a lot of reps in Bo Scarborough when he can't play in the game. You know, we have to get the guys ready to play in the game. All right, so now you're talking about a guy that really knows how to play running back. All right, but now you're going to try to teach him how to do all these other things during the course of the week. You know, it's, it's really, really difficult. But, you know, we would like to try to get a role for the guy on our team uh, because I do think he could contribute to our team, and I think he could be a very good football player. And, you know, we're going we're, we're gonna to try to work that out. But it's much more difficult to do that now than when you create roles for guys in the offseason and spring practice and fall camp. But, you know, we, weren't, we, we really didn't have the luxury of doing that because the guy wasn't allowed to play in the first four games. And with Cyrus, you had talked before, I guess it was during the course of the summer, about experimenting some with him, working with the wide receivers. With Robert going down now, has there been any more consideration to using Cyrus there? Or have you been happy with the group? Well, you, you know, we've had a difficult time, um, you know, trying to do that relative to the guys that we have on defense, the number of plays we played on defense, uh, the practice time. Uh, it's something that we've discussed and uh, certainly probably have to consider in the future. You talked about uh, the quarterback making good decisions with the secondary at Georgia. What's your impression of Jade going into his first road start? You know, a hostile territory. Uh, I know in Wisconsin or in Dallas, it was not necessarily a true road game, but this is obviously a different situation. Right. Well, it's the best thing we've had to prepare us, you know, for a road game, and uh, you know that's when he actually played his best game, I think. Uh, and um, you know, I, I think that Jake's getting more and more confident. Uh, I think the key thing with Jake is is to play with the right passion and energy and you know not get affected by external factors and just focus on what he needs to do on that particular play, make the right read. Uh, he's very capable of making all the plays he needs to make. So you know it comes down to mindset and focus uh, on st staying focused on the right stuff so you can make the right reads, the right plays, the right throws, and he's very capable of doing that. All right, thank you.